on Fight TV, YouTube, Facebook, and all over the globe. Matt Topolsky alongside Brad Gilmore for the row right here at the World Gym Arena. And Brad, tonight, a matchup that personally I'm looking very much forward to in our main event, the former three-time Reality of Wrestling champion, El Campeon Gino, takes on Chad Skywalker, who is arguably the hottest athlete in reality of wrestling right now. We've seen a lot of great stuff from Chad Skywalker. Also, tonight on the show, I'm going to have an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with the reality of wrestling champion, Rex Andrews. But coming up first, the former reality of wrestling tag team champions still in pursuit of another shot at gold. Zach and Warren take on the natural classics coming all the way from Melbourne, Australia. That matchup is Your right now. Contest is scheduled for one fall. Making their way to the ring at a combined weight of 423 pounds, Zach Mason and Warren Johnson. Well, their pursuit of the reality of wrestling tag team championships continues as Zach and Warren want to get another shot at those titles currently held by the industry. And they have a great opportunity here tonight to make another statement, another case, if you will, for those championships as their opponents are coming all the way from Australia. Now making their way to the ring from Melbourne, Australia, Tomei and Stevie, the natural Classics! Tom and Stevie, the natural classics, Matt Zapolsky, all the way from Melbourne, Australia, making their World Gym Arena debut. Absolutely, one of the most dominating tag teams in, in Melbourne Championship Wrestling right now. They have traveled thousands of miles right here to Texas City in the World Gym Arena for an opportunity to make a name for themselves right here at the reality of wrestling. And much like Zach and Warren did roughly a year ago, coming out of nowhere and putting th their name on the ledger, Brad Gilmore, the Natural Classics have an opportunity right here tonight to do the same thing. Right you are, Matt Topolsky. And here we go. What a big, big moment this is for the Natural Classics. It looks like Warren Johnson and Tome are gonna start this one out. Tome with the Natural Classics. Exciting out of action here at the Reality of Wrestling and some, some new faces here in the Natural Classics. And later on here tonight, perhaps an instant classic when the former Reality of Wrestling champion, Gino, takes on Chad Skywalker in our main event, a matchup that a lot of people are looking forward to. In addition to that, Rex Andrews has something to say later on here tonight on the program as his feud between Booker T continues. But right now, the Natural Classics from Melbourne. Ooh, man. To the reality of wrestling. Here we go. Irish whip leapfrog over the top there. Johnson, springboard, another leap, arm drag. And here comes more Johnson, the powerhouse. Zach Mason. Zach team. Oh, with excuse a me, Zach Mason. Here we go. But Zach Mason and Warren Johnson working together as a tag team. Their version of Cover a fly death. One, two. Zach Mason, the legal man, near fall. Zach Mason, your legal man, and Tom Philippe of the Natural Classics. Definitely knocked away. He wanted to make his debut on Reality of Wrestling. Here's the frog for Johnson. to no avail. 
Oh, here we go. I gotta tell you what. Oh, wait, oh! Big Stevie right there interfering. Tome now. Dumping Zach Mason to the outside. And here comes Stevie Philippe. The brother! Oh! Wow, and a bicycle kick like Stevie Ray from Harlem Heat. And a cover. Here, hooks both legs. Kick out at two with the natural classics. Now you talk about Harlem Heat, they're trying to send a message to one half of Harlem Heat. Wow, for team that. right now. Great scoop, slam, and diving elbow. Combination by Stevie Philippe. Oh, oh wow. Industry come into reality of wrestling here. Win the reality of wrestling championship oh. seemingly wow, overnight. Look at that great athleticism. And now the natural classics here with an opportunity to defeat the former reality of wrestling tag team champions. I gotta say it was a slow start for the natural classics in my estimation, but now they've kicked it up. They've turned the volume up. Oh. German suplex to Warren Johnson. Blind tag by Tome to Stevie. Oh. This has been a very impressive turn of events here, courtesy of the Natural Classics. Picking apart Warren Johnson and the former Reality of Wrestling Tag Team Champions here. Zach Mason can do nothing but look on right now as his tag team partner on the receiving end of a melee from this tag team that has traveled thousands of miles to come here to the reality of wrestling. Really make a statement oh, here wow. tonight so far. They're doing just Warren that. Warren Johnson almost there, trying to get the tag in. Wait a minute, oh! It's Sagiri right there from Warren Johnson, but can he make the tag to Zach Mason? Good for Warren Johnson, European uppercut. And a, oh, and a missile dropped wow. back off the top. The Natural Classics looking to defeat the former reality of wrestling champions. Broke it up with a tenth of a second to go wow. by Zach Mason. What a way to start the action this week right here on the row. But Warren Johnson is not gotten to get a tag into Zach Mason in quite some time. You gotta know his energy levels are depleted. Oh, wow! Looks like he got Warren Johnson right there in the solar plexus. Well, you say solar plexus, some may argue the manhood. Nevertheless, it was effective. Zach Mason beside himself, doing everything he can right now to get in that matchup. The Natural Classics have been damn impressive here in their debut. Johnson ducks her knee, leaps over the top! Here comes here Zach comes. Mason! Here comes the powerhouse! Boom! Boom! Reverse! Zach Mason ducked him at. Oh! That running lariat right there! Belly to belly! Get out! Classics. Get a nice reversal in. Mason ducks underneath. Oh! Got one of them. Oh! Tilt the world power bomb. That's cover. gotta be it. Cover one, two. Broken up 
at the last moment. Referee was a bit out of position. Had he got there a hair quicker, man, this match might have been over. But Tone was still there to break up the count. And now Warren Johnson trying to get back up, and he gets knocked right back down. He's turned into a handicap Well, match. I'll tell you what, Zach Mason is no stranger to a handicap match. He almost defeated the Heavenly Bodies on his own last year. Oh, oh, that that drop team. kick. That drop kick into a German suplex the second time we've seen it here in this matchup. The natural classics looking to finish off Zach Mason. Oh wait, Warren Johnson knocking Tom off the top rope. And here we go. Oh, look at this time. Yeah. Wrestling from the former tag team champ. That's gotta be Trying to make a statement. One, two. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your winners, Zach Mason and Warren Johnson. Well, there will be no icebreakers here tonight. We are headed right for the action. What a start to the row this week. A tag team match for the ages. And Zach and Warren making a big statement, Brad Gilmore. And I'm sure that statement is directed right at the industry. Mick Drake and Devin Devine. They want those tag team titles back, and they're working their way to earning a shot. But tell me what you need, I'll show you where the plug is. I show the whip like a kid, trap trap a hundred where I put a label with Nation, I'm Ashley Bull, backstage here with Hyon. Now, it's been officially announced you will once again be facing AQA for the Diamonds Division Championship. And this time it will be one-on-one -on -one without Kylie Ray being involved. But some people have been saying that AQA has your number. How do you feel about that? My number? What What does that even mean? Look, Ashley, I'm about to hit you with some logic, okay? The only times AQA has ever beaten me was in a non-title match where she tried to end my career with the moonsault. Yeah, that happened, okay? And in a triple threat with Kylie Ray. Now, if you level the playing field in a title match, who comes out on top? every single time, me, I do. And I earn my title shots around here. I'm not like AQA, hey, Mr. Booker, hi, can I have another title shot for the 20th time? No, I don't need to do that. And she loves to cry and complain to anyone that will listen to her about how mean I am to her. Mean. AQA. At Christmas Chaos, hmm. you are about to unleash the deadliest version of Hyon you've ever seen. Uh, Chad, Chad Skywalker, sorry to bother you, man. I just had a quick question. Uh, how does it feel to be going against Gino in the main event today? I am going against Gino. Yo, I feel like they are finally putting some respect on my name, like I deserve. You know, Gino, man, I really hope that you come to me with your A game, because anything less than that is a straight F. It's going up, off the top, and it's coming down on your face, okay? So, Chad Skywalker, like always, signing in and taking off, man. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest at this time, Lex Andrews. Well, Rex Andrews has made it pretty clear that he wants to address the Roe Nation. He's got something on his mind. I don't think you have to be a, uh, an experienced gambler to figure out what he's probably going to talk about. And that's the man who he has had in his crosshairs for several months now. And that's Booker T, WWE Hall of Famer and the owner of this company. Rex, thank you for taking the time to come out here. We've seen you for weeks, if not months now, come out here and make proclamations and, and, and issue challenges to the boss, Booker T. And Booker T has yet to give you an official answer, but he's put you in high-profile matches, what you've asked for, big matches for a lot of money, which is what you wanted. Um, but you've still yet to hear from the boss man himself. I just have to know what's going on in your mind right now. Yeah, you know what, Brett? That's, that's plenty. I appreciate it. You're done tonight. 
So the question is, will Booker T step out of the suit? Will he step back in the ring and face Rex Andrews for the Reality Wrestling Championship? Something I asked months ago. October, Booker T will answer the challenge they advertised. November, Booker T will answer the challenge and still nothing. Yes, there's high profile matches. Yes, I've taken out every top competitor. I've faced giants. I've done everything that there is to do in this company and there is nothing left you can offer me, Booker. The only thing that you have is to answer my challenge. And if you can't answer my challenge, if you want to keep selling me this false bill of goods, you want to act like you have something to say, but either you're afraid, either you're afraid, Booker, or your pride will not let you say no. And whichever it is, whatever the answer is, Booker, if you won't step in this ring and answer my challenge man to man, face to face, then I quit. Well, Brad Gilmore and everyone at home, we are back here on the reality of wrestling. And uh, big news, you have an opportunity to talk to Rex Andrews, and he has drawn a red line if you will, telling Booker T that he wants an answer. And if he doesn't get one very, very soon, he's out of here. Yeah, he's giving him to Christmas chaos. I mean, Rex Andrews had a lot to say there. Very compelling argument, if you will. But he said he's going to quit. The reality of wrestling champion said he will walk out of this company if he doesn't get his answer. You know, it's it, we have to go back and talk about the fact that Rex Andrews uh, is such a dominant athlete here at the reality of wrestling. But Booker T has done everything he could to help Rex Andrews, to lay out opportunity after opportunity for Rex Andrews. I mean, hell, Brad, he created the Reality of Wrestling Texas Heavyweight yep. Championship for Rex Andrews. How did we get to this point? I don't know, but Rex Andrews has laid out that ultimatum. He needs an answer by Christmas Chaos. In addition to that, an explosive main event scheduled right here tonight, Chad Skywalker versus the former three-time Reality of Wrestling Champion Gino, a matchup the Row Nation is definitely looking forward to. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ashley Bull, backstage here with the Latin heartthrob, Gino. Now, tonight you face a new competitor in Chad Skywalker, but it seems the real story is with what just happened with Rex Andrews. Rex Andrews? Ashley, I'm about to get in the ring with a competitor that's been all over the country, and you're asking me about Rex Andrews? Chad Skywalker has made a name for himself here at the Reality Wrestling, and you keep on asking me about Rex Andrews. I don't care about Rex Andrews. I don't care about Booker T. All I care about is winning tonight and getting my title back. Becoming El Campeón otra vez. And Ashley, and you're worried about Rex Andrews, huh? After tonight, Rex Andrews, nobody's going to be worried about Rex Andrews. They're going to be worried about El Fino, Divino, Gino. We know we're done. New wrestler. Whoa, whoa, what? You taking a selfie, bro? Yeah, but you see those filters they got? Not, no, no filters right now. What? You hear the news, right? No, what? Next week we're facing Legion. If we win, we're going on to Christmas Chaos, Fatal 4-Way. And then we become the number one contenders for the tag team titles. I, I've never competed at Christmas Chaos before. This is, this is huge. We, this is, we need to strategize. Yeah, no, no selfies. Not right now. What, what do you mean? Not. But here, take a selfie right now. Nah, come on. We got to train. We got to get ready. Legion next week and then Christmas Chaos. We got to get our Christmas Chaos bodies on. You know what, Cam? You're right. You're right. Come on. Let's get show ready. But, the, but this filter, though, you got after the match. No, after. No filter. After. Tonight's episode of The Row is brought to you by Walker, Texas Lawyer at walkertexaslawyer.com. Built-in furniture, let them have it. Quality blinds, go to qualityblindsllc.com for free shipping anywhere in the USA. And the king of solar screens, home of the $50 any size solar screen. An accident in the 21st century presents an entirely new set of challenges. From self-driving cars to failures and new safety technology, if you've been injured in a car accident, you need a 21st century lawyer. After all, you have to make your case here 
before you can win it here. Injured? Choose the smart lawyer. Call Walker, Texas Lawyer now and download the Walker, Texas Lawyer app. For one ball. Introducing the first competitor. Now making his way to the ring. Fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing at 205 pounds. This is Chad Skywalker. Well, personally, I'm not a fan of his approach, and I don't think either is most of the road nation. He has a high opinion of himself, a true narcissist in every sense of the word. But when that bell rings, it's game time for Chad Skywalker, one of the most impressive young athletes to recently step into a row ring. And tonight, he and Gino, I believe, are about to put on a classic here, Brad Gilmore. Absolutely. You can say that he's a little bit cocky, but he gives us results. And introducing his opponent. Now making his way to the ring from Monterrey, Mexico. Weighing in at 95 kilos, this is the Latin heartthrob, Gino! A former three-time reality of wrestling champion, the youngest heavyweight champion in professional wrestling history, one of the fastest rising stars in pro wrestling today, a PWI Top 500. Gino is in the World Gym Arena. We say a lot of the times out here on the desk that styles make fights. And I think that this is a great, great comparison of styles. Both these men are young, athletic, high-flying. Gino has definitely big fight experience. Chad Skywalker hasn't had that opportunity to go against somebody the caliber of a former reality wrestling champion in Gino. And I, and I agree with everything that you're saying. One point that I would add on top of that is that Chad Skywalker, in many ways, in a lot of his matches that I've seen here early on in his career in reality of wrestling, reminds me of Gino at the beginning of his career. You're, you're absolutely right, Matt Spolsky. He's somebody young and athletic and hungry, and also a little bit confident. To say the least. To say the very least, this is going to be a very interesting contest. Here in our main event, Matt Topolsky, let's also talk about what we just saw, what I just saw firsthand inside that squared circle. Yes. Rex Andrews said if he doesn't get a response of some kind from the boss, Booker T, at Christmas Chaos, he quits. I mean, this is just shocking news. I mean, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still trying to figure out what Rex Andrews thinks he's going to accomplish by challenging Booker T, by challenging the authority, if you will, here at Reality of Wrestling, and what the purpose of it is. Why is he doing it? I mean, he's already dominant. He's already the Reality of Wrestling champion. He's accomplished everything here. Why would he put, potentially, his career in jeopardy, even threaten to quit, if he doesn't get some kind of answer calling out Booker for, I don't know what, a fight, some sort of confrontation? So, I, you know what, I don't know either. I, 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 I'm assuming he wants to teach Teach Booker T. Rex Andrews wants to teach Booker T a lesson. He wants to teach him a lesson is what it sounds like to me. You know, Booker T is his, you know, pro wrestling I gotta father. tell you something. No disrespect meant to Rex Andrews, who I have all the respect in the world for. But he's not ever going to teach Booker T a lesson, okay? Look at this, the shaking of the hands between these two. But you know, we talk about Rex Andrews being the current reality wrestling champion. I wonder what the former three-time champion, the, the champion that he dethroned. I wonder what Gino has to think about all of that. Well, I think Gino's made it pretty clear that right now his eye is on his own career. His eye is getting back to the forefront, getting back to the top of reality of wrestling. And I don't think Gino cares if it's Rex Andrews, if it's Mysterious Q, if it's Chad Skywalker. He wants another shot to become potentially a four-time champ. Backslide here. Oh, look at that. Shoulder up at the very last second. Look at that, and again. That's that upper strength, the biceps, the triceps, the lats of Chad Skywalker Straight. allowing us to do that. Great core strength and athleticism from Chad Skywalker. He brings it all to the table. Very innovative inside that squirt circle. Extremely agile. We're seeing it right here. Look at that, a herd of Karana. Wow, and he sends the to the outside. He sends the champion Gino to the outside. And he looks like he's gonna go 
Oh, fly on Gino in the other position. Look at this. Gino tries to sweep the leg. Chad Skywalker reverses the reversal. And he does it again. Gino does it again. And Chad Skywalker eats ring apron. Oh, and he Snake eyes on the apron. Courtesy of the Latin heart drop. What is going on in Gino's mind? Gino didn't see Skywalker's there right behind him. Whoa, whoa, almost hit the referee. Well, it's a Geary here from Chad Skywalker. This is incredible stuff. Skywalker looking to leap over the top. Oh, my! A senton over the top to the outside. And Chad Skywalker on top of Gino in the main event. Gino had to put his brakes on when he almost went head first into our referee. And as you know, like we saw with Brendan Steen, any physical interaction with the referee will result in a 10-day suspension mandatory. Skywalker here cover. Kick out at one, a defiant kick out here from Gino. It's gonna take a lot more than that to keep the former three-time champion down. And just, you know, one more thing on, on, on this issue, this situation with Rex Andrews and Booker T. Rex has to understand, Brad, that a lot of what has happened in his career, he owes to Booker. Yeah. And, and I, I don't know that it's a good idea to go ahead and force the issue here. But we know we're going to get an answer from Booker T because it's not in his best interest or the reality of wrestling for, for, you know, for the champion to just walk out of here. I don't know if I agree with that. I don't know if I agree. That I, and obviously, I know Booker T very well. But I don't know if we're going to hear from him. Drop roll through here into an elbow to the heart from Chad Skywalker. Innovative again. Back into another lateral press here. One thing is for certain, Skywalker has a high opinion of himself, but he is showing Gino a tremendous amount of respect in this matchup, and I think that is a great strategy from the young challenger right here, Skywalker. Absolutely, don't overlook your opponent, especially if your opponent is someone who's made history, one of the most decorated champions in the history of reality of wrestling. And what's been surprising, Matt, is a lot of a lot of this match, these two have canceled each other out. That's what's kind of been the biggest shocker to me, is that their offense has been very even, very similar. Oh, but right now, Chad Skywalker's tasting those chops. Skywalker, springboard, oh. up top, comes crashing down to that knife edge top from the Latin heartthrob. Hell of a main event. Yeah, it looks like Chad Skywalker took that chopstick to go. It's crazy oh. by Gino. Top rope in Zagiri, cover. cover. One, two. Kick out from Chad Skywalker. Very close. Now we're getting into the championship round. Some scary hours for Chad Skywalker. into this matchup, and these two are still testing each other. Yeah, there still seems to be a feeling out process. Oh! Shot to the top of the dome there from Chad Skywalker. Oh, wow. Reversal, and it's Gary turning Skywalker inside out from Cheeto. Incredible, and both men are down in the center of the ring as our referee goes to check up on him. Talk about these two canceling each other out. Look at the situation we have right now. Fans definitely love Gino El Campeon. Chad Skywalker, though, getting him up and up, getting Gino up and up. Oh, Farm has carried position. And now, what is he doing, Matt? One for that Samoa drop, rolls through. Oh, into a moonsault. He's got all of it. Chad Skywalker almost with the biggest win of his career. A and kick out from Gino. And now pleading with the referee.
referee saying I thought that was three. Why didn't you count to three? And I'll tell you what, Skywalker got so much velocity on that, I thought that he was almost going to roll through again. Chad Skywalker held 